Hi everybody, today we're talking about data and graphs. Data is just information and graphs are ways to display that information. Like all good math lessons, we'll start off at the cookie shop. Mmm, cookies. My friend Sydney is lucky enough to work part-time at the cookie shop and she was kind enough to provide us her recent sales data so that we could do fun math things with it. We'll take her nice sales data and we'll put it into a pretty frequency table and now it looks a lot more mathy. Now we can take this mathy looking table and turn it into a picture graph. Picture graph is going to have a title just like our table. It's going to look a little bit like our table. We're going to have the categories down the side and then we're going to fill up the frequency, the number of cookies, with pictures instead of a number. So what kind of picture should we use? How about a cookie? That would make sense, right? So you see in the table that on Friday it says there's a hundred cookies. Well, let's just go ahead and put a hundred cookies next to Friday. So here's one, here's two, here's, wait a minute. If I put a hundred cookies here, first of all, it's going to take a long time and it's going to take up a ton of space. So get out of here, cookies. What we need to do is maybe make each cookie worth more than one cookie. That would help us. So with the values of 100 and 125 and 75, if each cookie were to be 25 cookies, I think that would make things nice and pretty for us. Now, if I want to count 100 by 25s, I do 25, then 50, then 75, then 100. On Saturday, it's 125, so that's just one extra cookie. And then on Sunday, it's 75, so 20, 50, 75. And just like that, you've made a picture graph. Good job. Now let's take that data and let's make a bar graph. So same kind of thing here. We have our title and we have our graph area. Along the bottom, we're going to put our categories. And along the side, we're going to put the number of cookies. Now you can label the lines of this bar graph in ways that make sense to you. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and mark the 50s and leave a spot in between. Those are going to be 25. So if I want to fill up Friday to 100, that's easy, right? Then if I want to fill Saturday to 125, well, 125 is halfway between 100 and 150, right? And then lastly, on Sunday, I have 75, which is just three groups of 25, so I can raise my bar up three lines. And there you have your bar graph. Now, to be experts at picture graphs and bar graphs, we need to know if we can answer some questions about them. Here we want to know the total number of cookies Sydney sold on these days. Notice that our key says each cookie is 10 cookies. So on Friday, I have 10, 20, 30 cookies. On Saturday, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cookies. And on Sunday, just two, so that's 20. Now I'm looking for a total. So to find a total, we will add and see that that is 100. Okay, good job. Let's try one with a bar graph. Here we want to know how many more we sold Saturday than Friday and Sunday combined. So let's check Saturday first. That's this bar here, and it goes all the way up to 100, so that one was easy. And then on Friday, let's take a look, it's between the 0 and the 40. Okay, so what must these in-betweens be? Well, this is going to have to be 20. And then on Sunday, between 40 and 80, that's going to be, anyone? Hello? 60. Okay, so we want to know how many more Saturday than Friday and Sunday combined. So let's combine Friday and Sunday. So 20 plus 60 is 80. And how much more is 100 than 80? Well, I can subtract, and that will tell me how much more 100 is than 80. And just like that, you know how to do picture and bar graphs. Why don't you try a few of those on your own?